11, 10, 9. We have ignition sequence start. The engines are on. Hi there everybody. Time for another shave. It's, today is Sunday. Sunday shave. I last shaved on uh, I think it was Friday afternoon so I got about two day growth. Using a new soap today. Uh, new soap to me. Uh, got this a few weeks back and uh, we're gonna give it a go. Today we're using Mike's Natural Soap and this is the Barbershop, the barbershop scent, and it does smell very delicious. There's the tub full. That's how it came. On the back is the ingredients list. Today's brush. Stinks finally going out of it. This is the uh, still losing hair, so the WSP Baroness 20 millimeter premium silver tip badger. There it is. Premium there it says premium silver tip made in assembly. See premium silver tip assembly USA. So at least it was put together in the United States. Probably not a American badger though. But it's still losing hairs. I've had it a little over a month now, and uh, hopefully it's gonna stop doing that pretty soon. So I'm gonna dip it back in that water there, one little shake, and I'm gonna load it straight from the tub. I do, uh, I do hope that everyone is having a most wonderful weekend. It's almost over. I am not looking forward to going back to work tomorrow. I'm a big fan of not going to work. However, I am not a big fan of not having any money because I wasn't at work. So, you win some, you lose some. Some of them get rained out. All right, that's a good load. Let's take what's uh, on the up there with my face. And I'm gonna scrape off the uh, the leftovers. I've never used Mike's barbershop before. So, I have used a mic. I do have another Mike's uh, product in my uh, under the counter here. It is the uh, it is the lemongrass and eucalyptus. I bought it. I got it on a trade or something a good while back. I can't even tell you who I got it from or where it went or where it came from or what. But I traded for it. I think. And I do like it. Good soap. Like the scent. And this here is barbershop. I'll say that the uh, this scent. The scent of this barbershop, Mike's Natural Barbershop. What a hair right there. The scent is very similar 
to Sir Hare Barbershop. I would say nearly identical. Now, I don't know, you know, if uh, I don't know who copied who. I'm sure Mike's was first, but no, probably neither were copied, but in my opinion, both of them smell very similar. However, this product, Mike's Natural, is hands down a better soap. So. And I do like the scent of this barbershop smell. Um, I don't own a lot of barbershop. This, this, and the Sir Hair. I think that's it for me as far as barbershop scents. But this is nice. As far as the ladder goes. Okay. We're going to go with that. Today's razor. I have been unhappy with my last few shaves on this razor. But uh, I did a little... Uh, test on my arm here before I started stopping it a few minutes ago and it's pretty sharp so today we got the uh, the Wasty the uh, the George Waston home Waston home hollow ground as you can see on the uh, the etching on the uh, on the blade there and hollow ground on the scales this is these are blonde scales it's five eighths five-eighths uh, barber's notch and I would say that it's probably uh, it says hollow ground I would say quarter hollow I would say quarter hollow so here we go One, two, badger hair. There's another one. I don't know if uh, you guys comment below. This is wet shaving products. WSP. WSP. Comment below and tell me what your experience is with wet shaving products, brushes. Because I'm becoming just a little bit disgruntled with that purchase right there.
It was good to see my uh, my oldest daughter. She came home from college for the weekend. Her best friend was getting married. And uh, it was good to see her again. She'll be home in about three more weeks, though. She'll be home for the summer. And this, that will uh, mark the end of her junior year at the University of South Alabama. And then a couple of weeks after that, I will be uh, attending my youngest daughter's high school graduation. And then, a few days after attending the high school graduation, my ass is going to be in Mexico, bitches. <laughs> well, I'm going to be on a cruise ship. I do love going on cruise. For the money, a cruise vacation is the best bang for your buck. Hands down. Not really going to Mexico. Well, I am going to Mexico, but that's not. We'll be going to, uh, we'll be leaving New Orleans on a, I believe a Sunday afternoon, maybe a Saturday afternoon. I can't remember. We'll be leaving New Orleans, heading down the Mississippi River to get to the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, I believe the first stop on our trip is going to be Cosmel, Mexico. And while in Cosmo, Cosmel, the women folk will be shopping and partying it up in the 
at the uh, at the port in the port area where all the restaurants and festive things are, what have you, what not, and so forth, and here to with, and so far, and whatever. And uh, and me, or I am I and my my father in law. We'll be going scuba diving. And I do love scuba diving. I have to say it right now. That's big fun. Most relaxing thing you can do on earth. The only way you can be weightless on earth. Add your hair. Okay. 80 feet deep. And just let the drift, just the current just take you and go. And all you gotta do is just lay there. You ain't even gotta kick your legs. That's Cosmel. Cosmel is the best diving in the world. And then our second port of call. I believe is Jamaica. And honestly, there's nothing to do in Jamaica. So, Jamaica, uh, the whole fam damnly is going to go to Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and sit down and eat and drink. And have a good time. And then uh, the next port of call after we leave Jamaica is uh, Grand Cayman.
And whilst in Grand Cayman, we're going on another scuba dive. There we will be diving, doing a wreck dive. And while Grand Cayman, the diving there is beautiful. That's a that's a work dive there. You got to you got to work your ass off. Grand Cayman, unlike in Cozumel, when you just drift. Pardon me. Fighting off a sneeze. Never good to sneeze when you get a razor in your hand. Very nice. Very nice shave. I took my time on that one. Nice, very nice shave. I don't block. No irritation. bit right there. Very little up there. Nice shave. No blood. <laughs> Cold water rinse. So that's going to be my vacation. That's what six weeks. We'll use some Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel.
It's a beautiful day today. I think I'm gonna get the old bike out, go for a spin. Yes, sir, I think I'm gonna crank it up and take off for a minute. It's a beautiful day. I get it's probably 75 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Just wonderful day. So let's see here. That was a uh, witch hazel barbershop scent. We're gonna use Clubman Pinard. It's just gonna be a classic kind of day. Just relax, enjoy the day. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yes, sir. And I got a little bit of sunburn yesterday, so I think I'm gonna use a little Nivea cooling post shave balm to uh, get some of that moisture back in there. Maybe keep me from my. Uh, Keep me from peeling up and getting ashy or anything. So, there we go. Lovely shave today. Oh, nice, relaxing, lovely shave today. Sorry it took so long, but hey, taking my time, having a good day. Thanks each and every one of you for watching. Uh, continue to keep the Cybert, Luke Cybert, and the Cybert family in your uh, thoughts. And uh, well wishes to Luke, get better, uh, get to work on uh, getting better, and uh, I'm still thinking about you, and we all are. So, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you don't, it didn't already. Look me up on Facebook. Uh, I'm on uh, G Plus too. So, uh, Come back next time for another shave, and uh, baba booey to you all. Have a wonderful day.